In high school, my senior year, my calculus teacher said, you should do engineering. You're a girl and you can do the math and they need more females in engineering. So I was like, okay. So I thought about chemical engineering. Then a friend of mine in that same class said, you know, if you do mechanical engineering, you could maybe work for NASA someday. And I was like, that sounds good. And then um, NASA, Chris Hall with the co-op program actually came to Tennessee Tech University where I went to school and had a booth set up and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go talk with NASA. Thinking like, that's all silly because who actually works for NASA? Had an interview, I guess she really liked me and here I am. In ER 31, I worked on the space shuttle main engine and you talk with astronauts. You have astronauts coming in to remind you of this is why we have so much testing. This is why our work matters. Not for us and a paycheck, but for them. And I mean, it's NASA. I've been back and forth for the past three years between co-op and work, and it, it hasn't lost that, that glitz for me. It's about exploration. It's about space. It is a, not just a one in a million chance, but it seems like one in a billion. Like when Christopher Columbus went out to find new land, that's what we're doing. And I hate the fact that it feels like the public doesn't see that because that's what drove me as a child. And I, I'm really concerned with the youth and volunteering with, with young females to keep them encouraged with science and engineering and space so that they don't lose that, so that they still have that desire to explore to be more than what other people think they can be. My family is a big reason of why I do what I do and why I have chosen the path that I've chosen. To watch me and help me become the person that I am and achieve these great goals, they're, they're just so proud. I hope that I do more ridiculous things like go on to medical school or become an astronaut, go to space myself, I don't want to stop dreaming big. I don't want to feel like I've reached my potential. Even when I'm 75, 80 years old, I want to keep reaching for something more to inspire people.